What's on tap right now? What 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 was on the way here today? Um, Simon Sinek, Infinite Game. Listening to that, um, yeah. you know, I think Brene Brown has been some influential stuff for me over the last uh, year. Um, Culture Code and Talent Code have 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 been helpful at this. It's kind of funny how sometimes the books show up for you at the time you need them in life. Mm -hmm. um, and I think those have kind of happened for me from that standpoint. I'm constantly trying to find good TED Talks. I found that you know our players seem to respond better to to shorter videos or mm -hmm. TED Talks or shorter podcasts. It's a lot different than, you know, here, here, I want you to read this book. Well, great, they're not probably gonna read this book. Some of them do. They would now will and they the fact that they're doing that across campus every single day yeah. with a variety of different topics Without to add doubt. one more to that pile now, of stuff. But if some, I yeah. share a forty-minute podcast with them and they listen to it on two times speed, like I tell them, they're like, "All right, that's twenty minutes. I can invest twenty minutes into that." And so it's trying to find those things that can influence them and help them. How do you also, and I know the answer is lead by example in some ways, how do you also lead your coaches to making sure that, as you said, they're an extension of you? How do you make sure that they're growing as coaches each and every day? Yeah, I think it's the same thing. You know, it's sharing podcasts with them. It's trying to help them connect. Um, here's a decision we made that was maybe difficult. Here's the input that I got from everybody. Here's how I distilled it. And ultimately, you know, sometimes it's a group decision, it's easy. Sometimes, you know what, I'm the tiebreaker and I got to make the decision, but kind of explaining that, okay, here's, here's why. Here's what I was thinking. Here's the angle I'm coming at, at it with. Um, I, we try and do a lot of joint decision making, even when we come in there and go, hey, here's what I'm thinking. Here's why I'm thinking it. Am I off here, fellas? Am I missing some part of the story that I need to know before we go down this road? And mm -hmm. I think um, helping them critically look at those things, posing different questions for them. Hey, you know what? Um, if you were in charge of this, what would you change? You know, how would you make this better? Because um, I don't have all the answers. I mean, most of the answers that that I get are coming from somebody else. Mm -hmm. You know, out there as a player or as a staff member, and it's just I'm just trying to find the right ones or sort mm -hmm. through common themes. Yeah, how, how do you how them. do you do that? Like, because I know you consume a ton. How do you boil that massive consumption down even, to sh applicable tidbits to even, relate to every day? Even just within our our staff is you know. Um, regular conversations, if directed on more than a superficial level, start to give you some insights where I'm like, hmm, I didn't think about that. Or I've heard that now from four different guys. There's probably something here that I need to, hmm. to think about from that standpoint. I, I do think um, distilling it down into the simple pieces, mm -hmm. I think the more you keep putting in, it's like downloading info. At some point, it starts to change how you think and you're able to distill an answer back. And you can't really say, well, that was because that was John Maxwell's book, this book on page 325 right. chapter, but something in there framed your decision-making or, or your perception to be able, perspective to be able to go, right. here's my thoughts or here's what we need to do. I don't, I don't so know I, why. So I was curious it, if it was, you had a moment, you, you went and seek information, or is it just, Consume, 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 and you never know when, but then it's gonna light up in a moment. Definitely some of both. Okay. Um, obviously when there's main points in that I'm trying to work through from a, a personal standpoint or professional standpoint, my my learning is geared towards those pieces. Mm -hmm. You know, with the specific thought in mind, we have to try and fix this problem or make an improvement here. You know, when things are say status quo, we're going well, it's like, okay, everything's coming at me that sometimes sparks a new thought of, hmm, I didn't think of that. We should maybe look at that or maybe this could make it better. Um, constantly trying to find a way to keep getting better is always on my mind. So some of both, it's a balance of both. Well, thank you for the wonderful discussion today. I know this is going to be a, a great, at least two part uh, podcast for us. Uh, but thank you for your time today. Thank you for all you do. Um, in leading our dragons to uh, a better, brighter future. And the humility you have with it is, is fun to watch. Um, so thank you for all you do, and thanks for joining us on the podcast today. Absolutely. Love it.